This is actually a movie's database made by me, Lucas Calderón, and Abelardo Malheng. These are the problems it stated in order. Okay, so here we have the the first query, which uh, was about the movies in 2008. And basically, they said, this, this said that list the titles of all movies released in 2008. So uh, what we did was uh, put every query uh, in a table with a single column and with uh, all, obviously with the title of each movie. So for Emma Stone's birth year, where we had to determine determine uh, and the carry uh, soon, uh, we basically did as Abelardo stated, and we as of select we put birth from the people and the name Emma Stone. So here in the movie since uh, twenty eighteen, uh, what we basically did was. Uh, uh, put the the output and a table with a single column uh, as before for the title of each movie and then we put the next query which included the movies released in 2018 that should be included as should be movies with release dates in the future so for the top rating movies in the column we stated of count and from ratings which were which were the highest rating, which is a 10.0. Okay, so here, here we have the Harry Potter movies. So basically this uh, query uh, was asking uh, to list the titles and release years for all uh, Harry Potter movies in chronological order. So first we type in uh, the output uh, to output a table with two columns, one for the title of each movie and one for the release year of each movie. Then we assume that the title of all Harry Potter's movie will begin with the words Harry Potter and that if a movie title begins with the words Harry Potter, it is a Harry Potter movie. So here you have uh, when the query begins, uh, how we first type select title uh, comma years and then below we have from movies where title like Harry Potter's order by year. So for the average rating in, 12, in 2012, we searched for uh, the basically what the average of all the movies was uh, based on the ratings. And as of from we selected that we, we had to do all the ratings to find in the average from each movie ID. And we selected all the movies that were in 2012, which gave us an average. Okay, so here we have the movies in 2010. And basically, this query was asking uh, to list all the movies released in 2010 and, the, and their ratings. In descending order, by rating. By rating. For movies with the same rating, order them alphabetically by title. So uh, first, uh, we have, uh, as before, the query should output a table with two columns, one for the title of each movie and one for the rating of each movie. So then we have the movies that do not have ratings should not be included in the result. So as as, as the result of that, we first put the select the M point title from the R point rating from movies. And then we have below the specifications that uh, we're asking the, in the state. So for the story story stars, as I could request it, with a single column, the name of each person, and uh, assume that there is only one movie in the database. We selected basically the name of all the people that were included in the movie. And from the per each person ID and stars uh, from the movie to story, there was a selection in the column where the major stars were and the characters. So uh, in this query, we have the stars in 2004. And basically what I was asking here was to list uh, the names of all people who star in a movie release in 2004, ordered by the birth, birth year. So 
uh, first, we have the, the opening statement that says that uh, the query should output a table with a single column for the name of each person. Then, uh, as he stated uh, in, in uh, as he stated in the instructions, uh, the people with the same birth year may be listed in any order. So there is no need to worry about people who have no birth year listed. And as long as those who have a birth year are listed in order. So if a person appears uh, in more than one movie in 2004, they should only appear in the results once. Now for the directors with high rated movies, uh, which was uh, a list of the names of all people who directed a movie that was receiving at least a nine. Uh, the query uh, should have for the column for each person in which directed on more than a movie that uh, has a, had a rating of nine. So they should only appear in your results once. So we select the distinct for the P name and from the people, the only we isolated the director said had more than one movie uh, on the R rating of a 9.0. And for each movies, we had uh, the movie ID. And basically, it was what we did. Okay, so here we have the here we have the next state, statement, which says that uh, we need to list the titles of the five highest rated movies that Chadwick Boseman started in, uh, starting with the highest rated. So first we we assume that there is uh, w w there is only one person in the database with the name Chadwick Boseman, and then we started uh, uh, making the query uh, by selecting the M title uh, from movies. Then join stars on M ID that gave us S movie ID. And then below we have the 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 specifications that uh, gets the information about the movies, and I ordered them uh, in the highest rated uh, movies of Chadwick Boseman. So as of Johnny Depp and Helena Helena Bonman, uh, we had to list the titles of all the movies in which both of the actors were stirred at. And the carry uh, had to be only a single column for the title of each movie, assuming that there is only one person in the database, database with the Johnny Depp and uh, it with the name Helena Bonman Carter. So we started the car that carry by selecting distinct and title from the movies uh, where both of them uh, were stirred at as of star as one and two, which each movie ID and the people one and two for the specific uh, uh, actors, Johnny Depp and Elena Bonman Carter, where they, was, where they were stirred at. And basically that's what the carry was. Okay, so uh, here we have uh, the stars with Kevin Bacon statement, which uh, says that uh, we need to list the names of all people who started uh, in a movie in which Kevin Bacon uh, also started. So uh, as before, uh, we have the first uh, the first statement, which has the table with a single column for the name of each person. Then uh, it is also known that there may be multiple people named Kevin Bacon in the database. So uh, it, is, uh, it is necessary to only select the Kevin Bacon born in 1958. So Kevin Bacon himself should, should not be included in the resulting list. So for our own curry, or for the first one, we had to describe a, a, a question of our own uh, that we wanted to answer in the database by using data from at least one table and consider, considering at least one condition to filter. We basically did uh, of a question that list of all the movies that Tom Cruise have stirred at. So basically we selected the movie's title 
from the movies uh, that joined the, st the third uh, Tom Cruise. And uh, yeah, we, we selected all the movies that were stared at from Tom Cruise specifically. Turning on the star's person ID and the movie's ID. Okay, so in the second uh, uh, major on Curie, uh, we, ma we made the uh, list all the name of the people who started uh, in Top Gun. That uh, is also a Tom Cruise movie. So first we have to select the people's name as we uh, started in the query. Then uh, where, uh, from where, so we put people, uh, the two lines that says join stars and people ID equals stars person ID, and then movies uh, point title uh, equals top gun. And that should, uh, that query should give us the name of the people who started in top gun. Thank you very much for our Thank presentation. You. And if any questions are to be asked, you are free to leave it in the comments. Thank you. Thank you.